to my kitchen. Y'all, today we are making, at the request of one of our YouTube family members, a 7-Up Cream Cheese Pound Cake. So that's what we're doing today. My dude number one, I think he's really going to enjoy this because although he's not a cream cheese lover, like he really doesn't care for like the uh, cheesecake, but he loves cakes that I bake using cream cheese. So that's what we're making today. So we're starting with three cups of cake flour and I sifted it twice just because I felt like sifting today and y'all that's the truth I really did I sifted it twice only because I felt like sifting because I'm using the swans down it comes pre-sifted for you in the box but I just felt like sifting today again so three cups and then to this I added a fourth teaspoon of salt all right so it was sifted with the flour then we have three cups of sugar. I have six large eggs that are room temperature. A couple of them, or at least one of them, have separated. Felt like doing its own thing when I cracked it, but they are room temperature. Six large eggs. I have eight ounces of this Philadelphia cream cheese. It too is room temperature. I've already added that to my mixing bowl because oftentimes I forget if I don't do it in the beginning, okay? Eight ounces. And then of course we have the star of the show. We will be using three fourth cups of this seven up soda. You guys make sure wash off the top of these cans. I talk about it all the time and then when you think about a can like this where people drink out of it, make sure you wash off your cans. They're nasty. Filthy nasty. They've been in the, on those tractor trailer trucks, inside warehouses, inside the back of the grocery stores and they've been, the little rodents and insects been crawling all over them and licking on the wash them. Okay? Okie dokie. We have three sticks of unsalted butter. And they are also room temperature. And then for my extracts, I'm just in the mood for, I'm going to add just a little bit of an uh, almond. I'm going to add just a little bit of almond extract. A little bit of vanilla. And then, of course, my cream bouquet. People say, what does it taste like, Miss Donna? All I can tell you is bakery in a bottle. That's just my opinion. I purchased my kit, my cream bouquet locally from my uh, from Kitchen Cake Magic. Okay? I've heard you can purchase it online. I've never purchased it online before, but I heard you can't. Alright, so that's... I just feel like adding all this stuff today. If I keep thinking, I may decide to add something else. And that's the wonderful thing about this cake. Add whatever extracts you like. Whatever you like, okay? I do have on my whisk attachment today because I just want to use it. And lately the cakes that I've made that I've not used the leveling agent, I wanted to use the whisk to whip the air in it. And you guys, honestly, believe it or not, there, there is a science behind baking. Um... And believe it or not, I don't know all the answers to the science behind baking. I just bake. I just I just do it, you know. So when I first started doing my cake videos, I used the baking uh, powder all the time. And then when I came across some recipes that you didn't have to use baking powder, ooh, I was a little nervous and a little leery. But I've tried it a few times with certain recipes, and it has worked. But also in those recipes, that's when I used um, the whisk attachment on my mixer rather than the flat beater. Now, you know, most of the time you use the flat beater. And some people would beg to differ even with me doing this. But like I say, to each his own, maybe some of the veteran bakers 
feel like, Miss Donna, you shouldn't be using that whisk attachment. You need to use your flat beater. Again, to each his own. If it works, it works. You know, I don't knock anybody for how they want to do anything. So, this is why I'm using the whisk attachment. But you guys would probably be surprised. There is so much I do not know about baking. <laughs> I just, like I say, I just do it. I just do it. Sometimes we have hits and sometimes we miss big time. Y'all have seen my misses. <laughs> but we just do what we do. And, and I, I, I always say, you know, even when you have challenges baking, just keep baking. Okay, just keep baking. Troubleshoot to see maybe what you've done wrong. And just keep baking. Okay, you guys? Alright, of course I've thoroughly washed my hands. Don't be in the kitchen. Ooh, y'all, I forgot. Anyway, I have to remember to do that on um, the next video. But there was something that I meant to do, and I totally forgot. <laughs> so, but anyway, don't be in the kitchen, y'all. Wash them hands. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands, because it's nasty. Okay? All right, so I just added my three sticks of unsalted butter to my mixing bowl. What I'm going to start by doing is just mixing up this butter and cream cheese by itself with the extracts. I almost forgot to add the extracts. Y'all, I like to add my extracts in the beginning. This is the cream bouquet. I add them in the beginning. That way they are mixed throughout the entire mixing process. I used to add them at the end, like when I was doing the milk, but I'm going to add them. I've been adding them for quite some time at the beginning. All right, and that way they are incorporated throughout the entire mixing process. This is my lemon. So if you, you know, even if you add your extracts at the end, it's, it's fine. It's fine. This is just what I do these days. This is the almond. We're going to do just a little bit. I think almond is strong, okay? All right. Now, I'll, I'll turn on my mixer just for a few seconds to mix up this butter and this cream cheese before I start adding my three cups of sugar, okay? So once I start adding my three cups of sugar, we're going to cream on high. This mixture is usually set on about eight, eight and a half. Cream on high for at least 10 minutes. I'll set me a timer on my microwave. That way I can keep up with the 10 minutes. But also during that time, I'll have to stop a couple of times to scrape down the sides of my bowl. Because what you'll notice is that these ingredients, the butter, the cream cheese, the sugar, is going to start accumulating on the sides of my bowl. I don't have a scraper that scrapes it down as, as, it's, as it's mixing. So I'll stop scrape down the sides of my bowl and then turn the mixer back on you want to properly cream you do not want to hear those sugar crystals mixing around in the bottom of your mixing bowl okay you cannot rush this process in the mixing of your cake because this is so important if you do skimp on the creaming of the butter and sugar, it can affect the outcome of your cake. Have you ever seen a cake that has it looks gummy or streaky on the inside like you see the streaks of butter? Oftentimes, oftentimes that's because it has not been, that cake wasn't properly creamed. Alright? So again, we're going to do this um, for 10 minutes. I'll add my sugar. And then once we've creamed, I'm going to stop, come back so you can see exactly what light and fluffy looks like.
we've been creaming for 10 minutes and this creaming is going to look a little different because we do have the cream cheese in it this time but you can still how it, see how it looks light and fluffy okay so that's what we want now it's time to start adding our flour no our girl you tell them the story it is not time it's time to start adding our eggs we're going to add our eggs one at a time turn the mixer back up we're going to add them one at a time i do not mix until the egg has totally disappeared once that egg drops in that yolk separates i mix for a couple of seconds and then i add the next egg oftentimes two eggs might jump in if that happens that's okay just cream just mix a few seconds longer because now you're trying to incorporate two eggs as opposed to one once we're done adding the eggs you'll notice i'm going to turn the mixer down i'll turn it down really low to about two to start mixing in then it'll be time for the flour the flour we're going to alternate with our 7-Up. See the bubbly 7-Up? All the bubbly bubblies. So we have 3 4 cups of 7-Up. We're going to start with dry and end with dry. So you'll start by adding a little bit of your flour. Mix that for a few seconds and then we'll add a little bit of the 7-Up. I'll go back and add a little bit more flour. Mix a few seconds and then the 7-Up. I'll keep doing that alternating until everything is added and mixed in. This process does not take nearly as long as the creaming of the butter and sugar. This literally only takes maybe two minutes if that long, okay? Oftentimes I don't go that long if I want to mix a little bit more by hand once I'm done. This is the part of the mixing that a lot of people overdo because they try to get that batter smooth and that's not what we're trying to do, okay? If you overmix, you can make your cake fall. It can be gummy. So many things can happen. You do not want that. So please, ma'am, please, sir, don't overmix at this point, okay? All right, so we're gonna get these eggs added. I'm gonna turn the mixer now. We're gonna get the rest of these ingredients added so we can get this cake in the oven.
batter is so fluffy looking. Can you guys tell how fluffy that looks? Look at that. So fluffy. Ooh, okay. So now I'm going to go up under, making sure I'm getting everything mixed in, going up under the bottom, making sure nothing is at the bottom of the bowl that was not properly mixed. I've already greased my cake pan. I've been in the mood. We did the grease. We went back old school. Crisco and then the flour. I've just been in the mood to do that, so that's how I greased my cake pan and now we are ready to pour See, the less batter I have in this bowl, the less I have to eat. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one that still eats cake batter. My mother-in-law used to have a fit. Don't be eating them raw eggs. Y'all, yeah. I've been doing that since I was a kid. It's one of the highlights of me baking a cake. I remember when I was little. But hear, my, hear that mixture going on Sunday morning. My mom baking a cake used to run in there. Mom, want the bowl? I had three brothers. So I was doing good to get in there first. And if I missed the bowl, then one of us had the bowl. One of us would get the beaters. <laughs> one of us would get the bowl. One of us would get the beaters. And then my mom would have to put a little bit of cake batter on a saucer for to make sure all of us got some some cake batter. Sweet memories. Now that's when life was simple. At least for me. Okay. I'm hitting it under the bottom to release to release air bubbles. And now we're going in 325 degrees you guys I bake my cakes in the middle of my oven so I adjust my racks where there's one rack that's in the middle of the oven and that's where I bake my cakes I'm gonna set my timer for an hour and 15 minutes I know I'll smell it before then and uh, I'll let you know exactly how long it baked once it comes out Although my oven has been acting funky, you guys, it's just, whew, it's been doing that for a minute. I can have it preheated to 325 and then it's showing 350 or, it's, it's, anyway, I'll let you know how long it baked. We baked for about an hour and 20 minutes. So now we're going to, of course, cool for at least 10 before we flip. All right, we're flipping. I told y'all I am just loving the flour and so my pan it looks like y'all this little part is good. Isn't that part good? Ooh. Ooh, that's so good. Okay, so we'll sit here and cool. In the meantime, y'all I'm doing a simple glaze today. 
If you know, then you know. I don't measure, okay? But in an effort to try to give you guys some measurements, let's see. And I'm doing a simple glaze. I don't think I want as much as I normally do. So I'm going to do about, just about a cup. Uh, about a cup of powdered sugar, okay? I'm adding a little bit of, uh, let's see, I'm going to add a little cream bouquet, just a little cream bouquet. And I think that's it. You guys, I had a little bit of this 7-Up left. So that's what I'm using for my liquid. We're going to make this 7-Up glaze. How about that? Add just a little bit at a time. You don't want to add too much because once you get it in, you can't get it out. All right? So whatever liquid you're using, don't add too much. I usually like to have it more on the thicker side in the beginning. So it makes it easier for me to mix and get it smooth if it's thick. If by chance you do end up adding too much glaze, Ladies, stop throwing powdered sugar, okay? If you end up adding too much, did I say glaze? If I did, too much liquid, then you're going to have to add some more powdered sugar to compensate. So this right here, see how thick it is? And it allows me to get it smooth. Of course, it's too thick to pour on the cake. It's not pourable. But I want you to see how smooth this is. You guys, I never use a mixer. I always do this by hand. But look how smooth this is just that quick. And that's just doing it by hand. Okay? Because it is too thick and I can't pour it, we're going to add just a little bit more of the 7-Up. Mix it in, and then that will give me a consistency that will be, or that is pourable, okay? You see the difference? Okie dokie. All right. So we'll let the cake continue to cool. Oftentimes when I let this sit, it will get maybe a little thicker on me, you know, as it sets. I'll add just a little drop more of the 7-Up when I'm ready to glaze and I cake. can't pour it on the cake right now because the cake is too hot. So as hot as the cake is, if I pour it on now, it's going to just melt all off. So we have to... Cut it wide so we can see the inside of the cake. 
people be wanting to see the inside, honey. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this one. You think you can like I think it? so. I think this so. It's lemon. Y'all, he just saying that. It look like it's supposed to be lemon. Yeah. I'm trying to keep it from sliding up. He said. This is, ooh. I'm going to tell you what it is in a minute. It's pretty. Mm. Y'all. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a thing or two. That right. But is it good before I say anything? It's very good. Let me tell you what it is. And you're right. I'm getting some of the, the glaze out of the middle, you guys. When you said you've had it before, you have. With a little twist to it. How does it taste? Is it moist? It's very moist. Baby, don't cut your head off. Let me say this. That's good. I love my job. But... I'm going to have to resign because I am not going to get nowhere working here. You know, baby, I thought about that, too. With yeah. us trying to do better. Yeah. It's hard with me baking these cakes and stuff. Okay, I got a solution. I want y'all to put in applications. Who want to take this job of mine? <laughs> Who want to take the job? Who wants to take this job of mine? So you don't mean I need to know. Could y'all put in applications? Just, just tell me it's down what you feel because I can't. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm going to show y'all the I've been doing great. In just a minute, that little sliver that I cut. This is the first sweets I have eaten in what? It is so, tell me if you agree, this is so light and fluffy. It is. It is. Very light and fluffy. If you, pound cakes are dense. Sure. They just, they are. But if you are the person, and you do not want a really dense pound cake, y'all. Oh my goodness, mm. y'all. When I tell you this is delicious, this is a. I had a request to do a Seven Up cream cheese pound cake. That's so that's that cream cheese that you love in a pound cake. This is delicious. Listen. Oh. That is a, a, um. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, too. That's a, um, a diet buster. Strong that's on. a, that's a, a, a. A do better buster. Listen, oh y'all gotta look. I'm seriously. I'm willing to give. I'm. Oh I'm gonna be. Goodness. I'm resigning. I can't. I can't. Oh I can't. So my issue is, Miss Donald need help. Somebody, y'all, yeah, put your applications in, and and I'm gonna look through them. The first one, uh, I, I like. You get it. So, God Almighty, that's good. See, now, I, can you look at it? I have not eaten sweets in her room. Can you tell it's fluffy? God, Y'all, that is so. It is. If you don't like a real dense pound cake, it is. It's this one right here. It's fluffy. It's oh, it's. it's and I know y'all gonna be talking about me. Y'all gonna say, "Lord, Miss Donald used to be eating cake like that." I don't. You see? But that right there. This is cause she's been doing better now. She, <laughs> so. No, so. I really try. Excuse me, babe. I didn't mean to elbow you. But, it was but you touched that angle. Where it used to be. That's what it used to be. Usually. When we do the cake testing and I eat that little piece off of his plate, I'm done. Every once in a while, there's a cake that I really like and I'll eat more of it. But that's my discipline as much as mm, I try. Him getting it out of the house. So we just give it away. That right there. God, it's good. Oh, my goodness. It's good. It, it's, that is, oh, we didn't do the thumbnail. This is so good. Thank you for the suggestion of seven the up seven cream up cheese pound cake. Cream. Oh my! It is good. Y'all, I done ate my lip gloss off. Y'all know I got to have my lips popping. Yeah. So I'm. Um, let me say it. It is. It really is good. <sighs> but man, 
everything you worked for, I, I dreaded that. Mm. Except <laughs> when you was little and you knew you did something bad, you was coming home and mama was waiting on you. And you just didn't want to come home. Y'all, this is off topic. It has nothing to do with the cake, but I really get asked this question all the time. I love the Mentha Lip Shine from Bath and Body Works. Mentha Lip Shine. I love it. I do. I get asked. Can y'all see that? Yeah, okay, there we go. I really do get asked this question a lot. Miss, Miss Donna, what kind of lip gloss? Because I'm pulling it out all the time. So, since I pulled it out just now, I thought I'd tell y'all. Ain't had nothing to do with the cake, but honey, that's what we do over here. We talk about what we want to talk about. How about that? Okay. We're babe. talking about it's how to get out of this deal because this is, I never get nowhere like this. You smiling, baby? Yeah, I'm smiling. <laughs> I am smiling. I'm talking, I never get nowhere like this, bro. God, this is good. Man, you might need to get this out of here tonight. Amen. All we got to do is call some of the saints. They'll come get it. Oof. My goodness. Gonna do better. Keep doing better. Even with temptation. What are you doing, though? Oh, what you doing? Huh? What you doing? What the day is? <laughs> that is good, but I'm telling you, guys, I'm telling you, we, mm. she has been doing so good. She has been doing so good. This is, that is, but, but nevertheless, it's, a, it's, it's, okay, I'll let you cheat. Today. Oh, that's a shame. I'll let you cheat today. That's a real, I'll let you cheat today. Set it up. Cream cheese. Pound cake. If you enjoy the video, Please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. By hitting the nosy. That's turning on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever we're doing whatever it is we're doing over here. We appreciate you all so much. Huh? <laughs> it, huh? Didn't, it did not call you. It oh, did not say it, anything it to you. It didn't call me. It didn't call you. You sure? I'm positive. Okay. I'm positive. Thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Bye.